Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me for our next behind the scenes adventure. I'm Geneva, National Marine Life Center's Education and Volunteer Coordinator. We're so excited to bring you some never before seen footage of Matinicus. Matinicus has quickly risen to fame at the National Marine Life Center, being that he was our first ever adult harp seal in care. As you might have known, Matinicus was actually released successfully just a few days ago. You can also find that footage on our Facebook account. So, enjoy seeing this footage of Matinicus enjoying one of his last meals in our care, and learn a little bit more about harp seals and what makes Matinicus so special in our hearts. So here you can see our big boy Matinicus, an adult male harp seal. It's not unusual to find harp seals in the area around New England during this time of the year. They are Arctic visiting species. They'll come down from Canada and the Arctic Circle in order to escape the harsher winter months. It's really special for us that Matinicus is showing us at this stage of his rehabilitation that he can eat independently, meaning that he does not need to be assisted in any way. We can dump the fish and run, if you will. This minimizes our contact with him and shows us that he will be able to survive with this skill in the wild. If you watch carefully as he's taking in the fish, you'll notice that he has to flip it around a little bit to orient it to be head or tail first so it can go down his throat well enough. This is actually a skill that we have to help our younger patients learn to do. In the wild, their hunger would naturally stimulate the behavior and they would be able to figure it out. While in our care though, we are able to do something called fish school. We're able to get them to orient the fish correctly. Once it's oriented correctly, they can then swallow the fish and learn exactly what that will feel like. It's imperative in this situation that they learn the skill of eating independently faster than they might in the wild, because while they're ill, they need to get a source of hydration and nutrition in order to help boost their immune system beyond the medications and care that we can provide. We are not able to release a seal unless they're eating independently, like Matinicus is doing a great example of showing now. Our seal patients, depending on their size, will eat anywhere between five and 10 pounds of fish each day. We currently, now that Matinicus has been released, have five seals in our care. This calculates out to between 25 and 50 pounds of fish per day. Luckily, our sea turtles actually prefer squid. We usually are dishing out herring on the daily for these patients. We are able to obtain large boxes of frozen herring and allow it to thaw out in the refrigerator, keeping it at human grade and safety levels. Matinicus came to the National Marine Life Center to be treated for severe impaction. Harp seals and other ice seals are notorious for ingesting or eating sand and rock when they're stressed. Humans are a very large source of stress for seals on the beach. This is why we recommend and insist that you stay at least 150 feet back from any seal on the beach. This ensures that you are safe and so is the seal. Matinicus was not so lucky and he ingested quite a large amount of sand. Luckily, with fluid and supportive care for hydration, he was able to pass that blockage of sand. Once he passed that blockage, he became much more energetic as you saw in that video. This let us know that he was pretty much through the woods and he began eating independently right away. He was a quick case for us and we were lucky to release him just a few short days ago. We actually have some photos for you to check out that show exactly what a release with a 200 pound harp seal is like. When Matinicus came to the National Marine Life Center, he was already quite large. He weighed close to 160 pounds. This is right around 70 kilograms. Once he passed his sand impaction and then began eating in large amounts, he gained another 20 pounds. So how do you get a 200 about pound seal to the beach for release? Because this is the National Marine Life Center's first adult harp seal, we had to think creatively. The National Marine Life Center was so fortunate to have many donations that allowed us to get the materials in order to build our very own mega crate 
for an adult harp seal. Members of our team and their families have the skills in order to build this crate. As you can see, it was well equipped to withstand the weight of the harp seal as well as allow our animal care team staff and volunteers to carry it with as much ease as is possible when carrying a seal this large. Here's Matinicus exiting that crate and heading for the water. You're starting to see a couple of things behind Matinicus. These are crowder boards. They ensure us safety while we're helping Matinicus to maneuver towards the water if he is a little bit hesitant to enter. Usually once a seal hits the water, they remember exactly where they came from. If you watch our release video of Matinicus, you'll see Matinicus needed no assistance. He knew right where to go and was in the water within moments. Because of Matinicus's notorious sand-eating behavior, we chose a rocky beach with very large rocks at that to minimize any chances of him ingesting that again. He went right into the water, as you can see, looking happy as a clam or a seal. Matinicus, thanks you for watching today, our Behind the Scenes. We hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit more of what it's like to release a large harp seal and what it was like for Matinicus in our care in his last couple of days. Wish him luck on his ventures north. Matinicus would like you to know that you're still able to help him and other seals at the National Marine Life Center. Curtis is another adult male harp seal currently in the National Marine Life Center's Marine Animal Hospital for rehabilitation, also suffering from sand and rock impaction. Luckily, he's beginning to pass that now. You can make a donation that can help save the lives of more seals and sea turtles. We say a dollar is a good for one pound of fish per seal or sea turtle. Consider donating today in order to help National Marine Life Center uphold their mission of marine mammal and sea turtle rehabilitation. Thank you so much for watching our behind the scenes today, and we can't wait to see you back next time. Tune in Monday at 11 a.m. for our next Behind the Scenes.